What's up you guys, Rex here. So the video you're about to watch was filmed exactly one year and one month ago, which if you've watched my video on the timeline of my medical school application, you know that is the day I interviewed at Duke University. So these are my thoughts right before I interviewed at Duke University, and I am now currently a medical student at Duke University. So hope you enjoy, hope I sound intelligent. I don't know, I was just throwing stuff together at that time. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to hear about them down below. If you wanna hear more about my medical school journey, what it's like being a medical student now, or just some general knowledge I'm learning along the way, whether it's finance, medical related, or life advice related, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video if you like what I have to say, dislike it if you dislike it, and until next time, don't be ordinary, go be great. All right, what's up YouTube? So I am filming this the night before my Duke interview, which was my first interview invite. Um, and yeah, I guess I was excited to get that invite, but shockingly not as excited as I thought I would be. Um, and so now I've gotten invites at Duke and UNC so my interview for Duke's going to be September 30th. Right now it's September 29th still, but quickly approaching September 30th. And I got this interview probably August 16th. I'll throw up on the screen somewhere when I actually got that, if I actually keep track of that, which I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but yeah, I'm surprisingly calm and not nervous for this interview. And for some reason, I just have this confidence that I think Duke is really where I'm meant to be. And that's really the place that's really the best fit for me. And I'm confident that if I just be myself tomorrow and, and really let that show and, and just am unapologetically myself, that all the evaluators at the MMI will see that and will appreciate that. And I'm just not that nervous. I think. An MMI is nice because it's not something you prepare for really so I don't have to be reviewing over anything or making sure I know all my facts about Duke Med School or make sure I have memorized all the secondary that I wrote to them or memorize some pre-prepared responses for an interview question or you know that's you know, tell me about yourself greatest strength greatest weakness um, so I'm just excited to go be myself, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, so tonight was a social, it was at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at a just coffee shop nearby, and I got to meet some of the other interviewees who I was actually pretty pleased with. They all seemed like great people, and, and I was excited to meet them, and seemed like great future classmates, and hope that's, that's what's in store for me and for them. I also got to meet a lot of second years and or first years and third years i don't think there's any second or fourth years there um and the third years were definitely loving their third year life which at duke you get to sort of just have a a research year or use that year to work on a graduate degree and the first years were just really happy to be there and all happy with their choice of duke so that was a really good first impression and i just dream about the day that can be me i mean they've made it they they did what they needed to do in undergrad and in preparing for their application and and they arrived and now they just get to reap the benefits of being at an awesome school and I just really want that to motivate me and hopefully by the time I'm uploading this in the future that will be me and I can hopefully be an inspiration to some of you and know that you know things work out you know you can you can trust in it but if in the future when I'm uploading this video I didn't get into Duke, I hope I have peace with that and and am into the place I want to be and I'm just really happy there. I just really want, more than anything, I just want to be a doctor so I can help others and, and bring joy to them and, and bring fulfillment in my life. So that's kind of my short, you know, four minute reflection of, of how I'm feeling before bed. I'm just... <laughs> The biggest thing I'm worried about is how hot it's going to be. It's supposed to be like 85 tomorrow. It was like 94 today. 
Although I think the car said it was 100. I don't think it actually was 100, but yeah, it was like 94 today, which <clears throat> my body thinks it should be fall, but the weather in North Carolina disagrees. So we'll hope I don't totally sweat through my suit or anything. I think I'm in the early interview group. They have two different interview groups. One goes interviews first for like two hours and then has the two hour tour later. I think I'm in the interview first, so at least I won't have sweat through my suit by the time the interview rolls around. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'll hopefully have a filmed a video about my post-interview reflection and just how I think I went and how my feelings are then. But for right now, I am have my two interviews at Duke and UNC, and, and like if I, for some reason I feel like if I get another interview, that's something I'll be super proud and excited of because I feel like I'm just a really good fit for UNC and Duke and felt like it was a given that I'd get interviews there so I wasn't super surprised but now it's been over a month since I got my last interview so I'm getting nervous about getting any other so I really would love another and that would definitely make me feel like I actually am a qualified applicant but who knows at this point but ultimately if I get no other interviews and I get into Duke or UNC that's more than I could ever ask for and more than ever I, I could ever hope for. So that's good enough for me. All right. Well, I hope you all have a good rest of your day or night or whatever time you're watching this. And, you know, I wish myself luck. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye.